I can't believe it. The Kings of Contenders have officially lost their 30 game win streak after losing to Mayhem Academy. Fusion University has been dominant contenders for the past several seasons, and I actually made a whole Overwatch documentary analyzing why they are so good, since they were undefeated and won 3 titles in a row. This dynasty may not be completely over, they can still win the Contenders Championship for the 4th time in a row, but the dynasty did lose a little fire since they have finally been defeated after 30 games. In this video, I'm going to go over the games and explain how the Mayhem Academy were able to finally defeat the monstrous Fusion University after so long. The first map was played on Lijiang Tower, where Fujin University and Mayhem Academy went toe to toe, each winning a game under their belt, so it all came down to the last game on Lijiang to take the entire map. So when the game first started, Fujin University wanted to run a comp that consisted of Sombra, Winston, and Moira, but once they knew Mayhem was running GOATS, they immediately went back to spawn to match Mayhem's comp. This by default gives the positional advantage to Mayhem Academy, who push up aggressively and hold the choke which channels Fusion University in a very precarious position. Mayhem Academy actually pushed up so aggressively that they inherently created enough room to back up to the point and capture it without any resistance from Fusion University, giving them the early cap point advantage. Honestly, I can't really sing out anybody on Mayhem who really carried the team because basically everybody stepped up and played so well. The main thing here was the aggressive synergetic pressure Mayhem was applying to Fusion Uni and the focus fire from Mayhem was too great for Fusion to handle putting Mayhem above Fusion 1-0. The second map was Eichenwald, Fusion University being on the attacking side first, capturing the first point pretty easily with Nice leading the charge on McCree going off. Then on the second phase of the map, you have the GOATS versus GOATS battle, and time and time again, you see in the series, Mayhem just seems to be the better GOAT team. They play so aggressive, but they do it effectively well, and most importantly, they do it together. They even outmaneuvered Fusion University by setting the tone of the game, with which allows them to set up ambush plays which we've seen work for Mayhem Academy. Again, they all shine on this map with Fact Fiction, setting the aggression as a Reinhardt pushing forward, Shaz with the Gravitons, Paintbrush with the huge boops we've seen in the second phase, killing two players at a time, Manatin being a versatile diva and easy peasy, having great positioning as a support, and Mangachu playing a great Brigida. Now speaking of Mangachu, he absolutely went off on Farah, a hero he shined on in the past, but on the Mayhem attack, he just completely destroyed Fusion, hitting some of the craziest shots I have seen in a long time all while putting the utmost pressure on Fusion University. Taking all these factors into consideration, Mayhem Academy was able to beat Fusion on the second map, putting them up 2-0 against Fusion Uni. With the third map being Hanamura, this was a must win for Fusion University. They did not want to be down and lose the series 3-0, so the pressure was all on their shoulders. Fusion University answers first and caps the first two points with 426 on the clock, a very great push. Well, guess what? But Mayhem Academy answers back and they answer hard by capturing the first two points with six minutes left on the clock, having a way better attack than their counterpart. Both teams keep going toe to toe in an absolute slugfest until Mayhem was up 6 to 4 and Fusion had a minute 16 seconds to cap both points just to send it to another overtime. Mayhem Academy was trying to close it out and Fusion was trying to reverse sweep. If Fusion already didn't feel the pressure, now it's all literally on their shoulders and their fate is in their hands. They need a good attack and they need one of the best executions in organization history to not only turn the map in their favor, but turn the series in their favor as well. Sadly for Fusion University, they get first held and lose the map. And to be honest, I didn't like the move putting alarm on Anna in this situation. I think he's just too valuable on Zenyatta, providing the extra damage with the Discord and just with his own raw talented aim. Also keep in mind, Easy Peasy on the other team is playing Zenyatta and with Fusion University playing an e-mobile comp such as GOATS, trying to go through a narrow choke, Zenyatta on defense is going to shred every time. After winning, three straight maps, Mayhem was able to officially defeat Fusion University and take the series. Simply just dominating Fusion University, something so unprecedented, 
By default, Mayhem and Fusion had to play a fourth map for points, which is still important. And after losing in a dominating fashion, Fusion University actually takes Rialto. Maybe after losing their streak, they had nothing to lose, so they felt no pressure. Or maybe Mayhem stepped off the gas pedal since they were so relieved they beat Fusion University. Whatever the case may be, Fusion University started on the attacking side. Fusion University struggled to get the first point, but guess what? They managed to pull through and clutch it out to cap that first point. Fusion University then struggles to get the second point, but guess what? They managed to pull through and cap the second point, even with only seconds to spare. They seem to be pushing through and not giving up, and really having good focus fire and ult management. However, with 126 on the clock to cap the last point, you would think they would be stopped early, but Fusion University actually shows their heart and pushes all the way to the end of the third phase without actually completing the entire map. So they're just almost there a couple meters off the checkpoint. So to be honest, this seemed like a really good push. Finally, some confidence going in the way of Fusion University who are heading into their defense. When it came to the first point, it was actually less than a minute when Paintbrush, the Lucio player on Mayhem, actually picks off Nice, giving the player advantage to Mayhem, and with Fusion without Azaria forcing to fight 5v6, Mayhem was able to capture the first point on attack. However, this was still a really good stand for Fusion University. They just need to be careful and not make mistakes like being picked off or being in the wrong position. On defense, Fusion University was able to completely destabilize the aggression we've seen Mayhem pull off in the series. And the question is, if they did this earlier, could they have maybe reverse swept? Because Mayhem's aggression was the main reason for the demise of Fusion University. But Fusion seemed to adapt to Mayhem's aggression and completely neutralize it through the use of better ult management and timed counter aggression. Even though Fusion University won Rialto, it was too little too late, but honestly, they should be so proud of themselves. They were able to obtain one of the greatest runs in Overwatch history, winning 30 matches, and in this state of the game where everybody's beating each other, this is an absolutely unbelievable achievement. However, I do have to pose this question. Did they lose because they are getting worse and on a decline? Did they lose because other teams are just catching up and getting better? Or did they lose because they simply did not have Elk? Elk played such an important and huge role for Fusion University. He's their in-game leader, their strat caller, their morale booster, their focus fire caller. I mean, this guy does so much for the team. I really believe that Elk is the face of Fusion University. And if not the face, then the brain. What do you guys think? Why do you believe Fusion University lost after 30 straight wins? If you guys enjoyed this video, give a like. And if you enjoy this type of content, subscribe for more videos video is being uploaded on a consistent basis. My name is Motorious and this video is brought to you by EST and N.